let's try okay the error is there system d is not installed or it is not configured to run system d by default wsl is started with uh, init and we can verify it look at this the process number one pid one is started with init so we need to change it first so for that we are going to apply the script which is written by the one of the github user um, thank you for that this guy did, did it the trick for running the system d and the wsl instance so we need to clone the repository first we can use these commands are already mentioned in the description box so you can get it from there let's make the directory for the github script and here we can download the script and run this now script is downloaded and uh, folder is created now we can clone the repository here with the git clone command it's clone very early let's see now we can go to the directory of the script we are into we are into directory and here we need to run the script now with the bash followed by the script name so it's saying wsl is uh, not running but it is running it may be the error message we can ignore but we need to force from here so we have to use force switch to force the script to run on this particular wsl instance here with the force switch it start working i think it's now completing and it is completed now now we need to shut down this particular uh, wsl instance to get the effect of this particular script to start uh, the system with system d for that we need to exit from uh, this particular wsl instance and now let's see this is running now we need to shut down it with the command wsl dash dash shut down space d space the name of the wsl instance so this is the wsl instance which we are going to shut down now it's shut down let's verify it with the command it stopped state now we can start it from the drop down now we have restarted the WSL instance. Let us verify the status of SRMD now. For that, we need to run the command ps space efl. Now, see the process number one is started with system. After verifying this, we now we can start the virtual manager with the command which we have used earlier lib word d and vilt lozd log daemon and lib virtual daemon for this we need to again to run these command after restarting for this let's copy these two again and paste in the command window this will start the virtual manager these required services for virtual manager it is doing those oh now see i'm able to start the service now it's enabled both the system which is 